This is going to be a fun show to work on. Uh, December 8th at the Subhub Center. We've had a tremendous relationship at the Subhub Center. We hold uh, the record uh, for the three highest gates at the Subhub Center. Ramon Chocotito Gonzalez is, is part of those three uh, when he fought last year at the uh, StubHub Center and completely sold out uh, StubHub Center. Naturally, Triple G has fought there twice and uh, we've done uh, uh, a lot of shows and, and it's just a, a, a uh, tremendous arena with the energy. It's a real fight fans uh, arena and uh, we're excited to, to go back there. We have uh, some of the best, uh, two of the best boxers in the world fighting December 8th. Uh, this is a special tribute show uh, with our relationship with HBO. The HBO platform launched so many stars, you know, between Triple G, between uh, Chocotito Gonzalez, Cecilia Breyfus was uh, the first female boxer on HBO on the Cinco de Mayo show that we did at the Stub Hub Center. You know, HBO launched the careers of Oscar De La Hoya, of Floyd Mayweather, Shane Mosley, so many names that, uh, you know, the list goes on and on, and, and that's, you know, we want to thank Peter Nelson for the opportunity, uh, giving us the platform to build Triple G, to build Ramon's career. Uh, Ramon was a tremendous champion, uh, undefeated pound for pound champion, but once he got on the HBO platform, it's just his uh, recognition worldwide skyrocketed, and uh, naturally the value of his career and and uh, the publicity that he got uh, was unrivaled, uh, like what he got on uh, on HBO. And uh, same thing with uh, Cecilia Breckless. She uh, sells out arenas in in Norway. She has a very interesting story for you that uh, don't don't that aren't familiar with it. She single-handedly uh, brought, brought boxing back to Norway, and. Uh, because of her drive and her courage um, and her popularity in Norway. But she's now chosen to plow her trade over here in the United States and HBO has given her a tremendous platform. Uh, so we're looking forward to this fight on, on December 8th. Uh, we have, uh, it's gonna be uh, a tremendous show. So these are the two main event uh, fighters here. Uh, that will be featured on HBO, but we'll have a tremendous uh, uh, show, uh, undercard. Um, the tickets go on sale, the pre-sale starts on Saturday. Uh, the official on sale will be on Monday. They're priced very reasonably, starting at $25, so we want to fill the place up completely. Um, you know, and this is really, uh, again, a tribute to uh, HBO and our relationship with both uh, Peter Nelson, Tony Walker, Richard Pleppler, everybody at HBO that's been so supportive of uh, our shows on HBO. I want to thank uh, Dan Beckerman uh, of AEG and everyone at the Step Up Center for uh, for uh, working out this deal, uh, you know, for us to stay locally here in Los Angeles. Both Cecilia and uh, Ramon have made the commitment to, to train here locally uh, in the Los Angeles area. And so uh, I think the media and the accessibility for both Will be uh, will be great in order to help uh, promote this promote this show. Um, we'll naturally, want to thank the uh, California State Athletic Commission, Andy Foster. I think uh, uh, Andy does uh, one of the best jobs regulating the sport of boxing. It's very fair. Uh, at the same time, you know, with the uh, assignment of the officials, and at the same time, keeping the priority. Uh, of the health and safety of the boxers uh, as the number one priority uh, for these uh, events. Um, so with that, I'd like to uh, like to bring up, actually this is a special addition uh, to the show. Uh, she was on the Superfly 3 show. Um, actually, her fight for the vacant WBC Adam Waite title. Before that fight, I didn't even know there was an Adam weight division, but there is. It's 102 pounds. And uh, she actually uh, stole the show from all those uh, great fighters on that Superfly 3 show. Um, she, uh, her fight with Brenda Flores uh, stole the show. So I want to bring up first, to say a few words, I want to bring up uh, all the way from Australia, one of the most charismatic, one of the most attractive uh, uh, boxers in the world is uh, Lulu Houghton. Thank you. Thanks, 
Tom. Uh, hi everybody, back from Australia. Uh, it's been a great trip back home. Uh, I've had a lot of time hanging out with my children and the kangaroos and koalas. Um, <laughs> thanks Tom for bringing me back. I really appreciate my promoter Tom, he does a great job. And I'm here with uh, these great champions again. Uh, yes, we did steal the show in September and I learned my lesson from then, so we're looking for that nice stoppage for uh, Brenda to be coming back for this rematch. I'm excited and I'm grateful for my team, Elvis Grant, and I have the whole team with me to, uh, this time preparing for this fight. And um, what can I say? It's bang bang Lulu time, so we're going to steal the show again. Thanks, guys, for uh, all being here, and I'm really excited and <laughs> we're going to have some fun. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. That's again, uh, you know, it's, it shows the depth of this show here. So the doors open at 3 o'clock. Lulu's fight will be right before the uh, HBO uh, televised fight starts. And don't, uh, don't be late. This is, she puts on a tremendous show, uh, very entertaining inside and outside the ring. And, um, you know, I want to acknowledge uh, her manager, uh, Grant Ellis Phillips, who's guided her career and uh, really been a mentor towards uh, Lulu. So we're happy to have her on the show. Brenda Flores is fighting in uh, two days in uh, in Mexico, so hopefully everything goes well with her fight and then we'll see that, that rematch uh, that was mandated by the WBC uh, on this show. So with that, I want to bring up a longtime friend of mine, or actually uh, introduce a longtime friend of mine who's been so instrumental um, in all the pay-per-view fights that we've done uh, on HBO. Um, the last two pay-per-view fights we've done well surpassed uh, uh, a million pay-per-view buys, which is you know really the gold standard for boxing. It just shows the level of interest uh, in those events that we did uh, with Triple G and Canelo. Uh, naturally, uh, like us, Tony thinks that uh, Triple G won both of those fights, but you know we won't go into the scoring of that. It just uh, they were two great warriors fighting each other. Uh, two great events. The, the second fight was uh, even better than the first fight, which usually a rematch uh, a lot of times doesn't live up to, uh, to the, uh, the, the first time around. So uh, Tony was instrumental in uh, putting the uh, HBO pay-per-view uh, shows together. There's so many uh, intricate details from the marketing to the promotion to uh, even the sales of the pay-per-view, everything uh, of that nature. So. We're really thankful to Tony, and uh, he's uh, here today representing uh, HBO for, this is, uh, you know, unfortunately this is the last uh, broadcast of HBO in their long, long uh, history. Uh, there might be, from what I understand, Tony, might be some pay-per-view shows uh, still down the road, but as far as the actual license fees for now, uh, this would be the last show. So we're honored to be uh, the promoter of the last uh, show that's scheduled for HBO. So I'd like to bring, I'd like to introduce uh, Tony Walker, representing HBO. And uh, this is not pay-per-view December 8th, but there's surely it will not be a lack of excitement in that ring. I want to thank uh, Tom and his uh, team at 360 for putting this together. I want to thank Roman and Cecilia for again guaranteeing the legacy of great fights on HBO will continue. It will be a fun night. And uh, I really want to thank you, uh, the press in Los Angeles, who made Los Angeles, I think, the biggest fight market in the world. And uh, you're not just important here, but you're important worldwide to the, uh, you know, the betterment of the sport. So thank you for, for all the support. Uh, it's going to be a great night in December, and uh, hope you continue your support of boxing. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. Now we get... Uh into uh, why, why you're here, uh, the contestants themselves. Um, you know, it's been a pleasure being involved with uh, Roman's career, working closely with uh, Carlos Blondon, with uh, Mr. Honda, Titan Promotions, Akimi, everyone at Titan Promotions, uh, they do a tremendous job. I've had the honor and the privilege of being able to uh, uh, work with Ramon on the shows that we've done here whether you know he was together with Triple G and you know we had the two best pound for pound fighters on the same show at the same time and, and Ramon established himself as the best pound for pound fighter in the sport so when you have somebody that's competing either at 112 pounds 115 pounds uh, being recognized as the best boxer in the world 
it's a, it's a huge statement uh, for Roman being from the smaller weight divisions that typically don't get the exposure uh, here in the United States that they do other parts in the world. So we were happy to have, uh, uh, and it's really a tribute to Roman's uh, popularity, his boxing skills, uh, just his international appeal uh, that he was the one that the Superfly series was based around because he was such a popular champion that uh, HBO and Peter Nelson agreed that, uh, okay let's launch a, a series that's focused strictly on that weight division because it's such a talented division so deep and uh, Roman was willing to fight everybody and so uh, and we want to uh, just, we're very thankful for him to be on the show again. I'd like to introduce uh, Carlos Brandon, as I mentioned, as the manager, and then Carlos will introduce uh, Roman and then also translate for, for Roman Chocotito Gonzalez. Good afternoon. Thank you to all. We just want to thank God from part of uh, Team Gonzalez. We also want to thank Taking Promotions, Father Figure, Kaicho, Akemi. Thank uh, 360 Promotions for making this possible, working with Tom and with 360, like I always say, it's, it's an extended family in the boxing industry. It's, it's been one of the better things that's happened in Roman's career and in our lives also. Um, HBO can't speak highly enough of how they definitely catalyzed the, the, the career within Roman and the exposure. We just feel really blessed. And then uh, it was an honor to meet in uh, Vegas in that fight. Uh, Cecilia, which uh, Roman and I and the team have heard about, and we were really eager to meet her. We were able to meet her, and it's, it's an honor to be able to share uh, a card with her. And at the same time, the last uh, fight or uh, card of, of HBO, which uh, we, we really, um, I think that we'll probably see them along the line with the pay-per-view shows, but for now, we just feel blessed to be here. Um, we feel that last uh, fight, it went great. Um, we added two new members to our team, um, uh, to, uh, to us, uh, the best boxing trainer right now, which is Marcos Caballero, um, father of Randy Caballero, Romel, Ryan, and Robert, all great champions, and then um, Rafa Rojas, which is our uh, strength and physical coach. It's an amazing job, really uh, put everything into perspective for, for Roman and for the team. His father, which has obviously been with Roman since he was born, Henry Membreño, and so other, so many people like Hector from Hector Designs that just help and are always there with us and really keep us into the game and just feel so happy to be here once again in LA. It's become like a second home. We've done a couple of training camps here. It's gone great. Definitely be accessible for the media and just really happy to get this opportunity and I'll leave you with uh, our champion, Roman Gonzalez. <laughs> He feels blessed. He wants to say hi to everyone. He feels that it's a, an amazing opportunity he's receiving. He wants to thank 360 Promotions, HBO, Taken, and all of you that are assisting here. Agradecerle una vez más a Tom, al señor Fonda, a Kevin y a cada uno de ustedes que siempre están presentes aquí. Eh, bueno, tengo eh, listo para la pelea el 8 de diciembre, motivado y feliz. Pues, y agradecerle una vez más al equipo de trabajo que siempre han estado conmigo. He wants to thank Tom, Mr. Honda, HBO, Peter, and at the same time he feels very excited, very motivated. He's very happy and comfortable with his team and he's ready to give a great fight. He wants to give a great fight to all the audience and God bless you all. He saw Chocotito was on the, uh, the rematch with uh, Triple G and Canelo up in Las Vegas and uh, after being out of the ring for a year, nobody really knew exactly how he would react in the ring 
especially against a very credible and dangerous opponent like Moises Fuentes. And we saw the old Chocolatito uh, in the ring, just the way he was overpowering his opponent and uh, so active in the ring, throwing so many punches that he's, that's his signature, is just being able to outwork uh, all the world-class fighters and champions that he's fought. And uh, with that knockout punch uh, against Fuentes is a big, uh, big stamp uh, that uh, Chocolatito is here. He was the undisputed pound-for-pound -pound champion, and I think you're going to see him making another run uh, for that. Uh, this is uh, a great matchup for December 8th. He's going to be fighting Pedro Guevara from Mexico, former uh, two-time champion. So a very, very uh, difficult fight for Roman, but uh, we feel that uh, this is going to be a, a great test for him and another great platform to show his skills uh, and his power on, on HBO. So we're excited about that. Um, Peter wasn't able to come in for this press conference, but you know, we're going to have uh, other media events, especially uh, during fight week, where um, uh, Peter will be here. And uh, he's promoted by Osvaldo Kikle. Um, and so we, we want to acknowledge uh, Osvaldo uh, for providing uh, the services of uh, Pedro Guevara. This will be a great matchup, uh, especially here in Southern California, where Roman has so many fans, whether he was fighting at the Forum or uh, here at the Sub Hub Center, you see all the Nicaraguan, fla fa the Nicaraguan flags uh, in support um, you know, from his uh, fans. So, uh, we expect uh, the same thing coming uh, December 8th. He's a fan favorite. The fans, the boxing fans, really love to see him perform uh, in the ring. He's one of the most respectful, one of the most honorable uh, champions uh, that I know of in the sport of boxing. And I think that's what the fans uh, really appreciate about his talents uh, with, uh, with uh, Roman. So uh, that's going to be a, a tremendous fight. Uh, we're, we're excited now and you see all these uh, championship titles. Where's your, where's the ring magazine title? Mike? Mike? <laughs> you got, you're missing one. Why are you shortchanging? Why are you shortchanging her? She's the pound for pound uh, ring magazine champion along with the, the five uh, world championship belts here and uh, uh, it's just uh, uh, you know, Cecilia put on a, a great show uh, in her f debut here in the United States on HBO uh, against Kelly Reese, a very difficult opponent that came down two weight classes uh, to fight her. So she fought a much uh, bigger uh, opponent at that time. Doug Fisher is not going to be happy if you don't have the ring magazine title here. Mike. <laughs> can line that up uh, somewhere. Uh, okay, we'll put it down. There we go. Okay, now you got the full display. Now we got one. Cecilia is the undisputed, undefeated uh, female champion at 147 pounds, welterweight. Um, most, uh, you know, one of the most charismatic uh, champions as well. Uh, as I mentioned, she's extremely popular in Norway. She fought in Germany uh, a number of times, and now she's over here to uh, to really build her image over here in the United States. Having all these uh, world championship belts uh, uh, just shows the, the sacrifice and dedication that she's had for her career. Um, there's a, uh, when we announced that she's going to be on uh, HBO December 8th, it was a tremendous response of uh, opponents that wanted to challenge her. This is really <laughs> uh, a field of dreams for a boxer to be able to challenge for all these belts all at one time. and. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of interest. We're going to finalize. We wanted to announce this uh, show and announce the fight today, but we're going to finalize the opponent, and uh, hopefully by tomorrow or Friday we'll have the official announcement. But uh, since Cecilia is here and, uh, and Ramon just arrived on Sunday, we wanted to have this uh, media lunch 
Um, Cecilia again has, has accomplished so many things uh, uh, in her career and uh, is one of the best ambassadors for the sport of boxing, uh, especially uh, internationally where she just uh, opens up uh, different regions for boxing. So with that I want to introduce uh, someone that I've known uh, a very long time, uh, back in the days where he was a sparring partner for the Klitschko brothers, then he became, you know, with the passing, the unfortunate passing of Emmanuel Stewart, he became the, the chief trainer for Vladimir Klitschko, uh, did a tremendous job with Vladimir in one of the most historic championship, heavyweight championship runs that we've uh, ever seen in boxing. So I want to uh, introduce Jonathan Banks from Detroit, Michigan to say a few words about Cecilia, about this fight, and then naturally we'll turn it over to, to Cecilia. Well, thank you, Tom. Um, Cecilia is, um, I'm often asked the question, what is the difference in working with someone of Vladimir Klitschko status and coming to work with um, Cecilia? And I said the only, only difference is the gender. That's the only difference. They both have the same desire to win. They both win the gym. They work hard. And for me, it's been an um, absolute pleasure to train them both, to know them both. And um, as we continue, we look forward to, um, to any opponent that's, um, that steps up. And the goal is no matter what, is to, um, to keep every fight as exciting as, exciting as possible and to keep the winning streak going. So, that's it for me. Just to add, add a couple of things uh, for Jonathan, I, I might have shortchanged his career where he wasn't uh, only a sparring partner for the Klitschko brothers. Uh, Jonathan had challenged for a Cruiserweight World Championship. <clears throat> Uh, he had one of the most memorable weeks in boxing, uh, where first time he was working with Vladimir Klitschko, filling those shoes that almost can't be filled, filled of Emmanuel Stewart, when Emmanuel was too sick to travel uh, for the training camp. And uh, Jonathan got the victory with Vladimir with his very first fight. Then he was on HBO against Seth Mitchell, where he had that tremendous knockout. A week later, if you can imagine this, he's training the heavyweight champion for a fight, and a week later, he's on HBO fighting uh, Seth Mitchell as a heavyweight division, and he had a tremendous knockout in Atlantic City. I remember that like yesterday, where it was such an emotional time. And, uh, you know, Jonathan has really added a lot to the sport of boxing. He uh, dedicates a lot of time to amateur boxing in Detroit. Um, you know, carried on a lot of the legacy from the Kronk gym that he grew up with, uh, with Emmanuel Stewart, and uh, we're just happy to have him uh, on board, um, training Cecilia, uh, and you know, the, what he accomplished with Vladimir, we expect him to continue that legacy with Cecilia, and also like to acknowledge Dominic Dalton, who's here, who's uh, uh, a main part of uh, uh, Cecilia's training camp. Dominic's also from, from Detroit, as you can tell from, from his hat. <laughs> and uh, Harold Parker, who's been added, uh, who helps with uh, Cecilia's uh, strength and conditioning. And before I uh, turn the microphone over to uh, Cecilia, we also want to acknowledge uh, Erica St. Philip. You'll, many of you uh, know Erica as my right-hand person. It's her birthday today. So uh, she's unfortunately not able to be here, but uh, we wouldn't be able to do these events without uh, Erica being involved. So I want to just uh, send her a big uh, happy birthday. And uh, now you get to hear from the undisputed, undefeated, pound-for-pound uh, pound female uh, boxing champion that you, female, before I, actually I got a little bit ahead of myself, female boxing has really seen a tremendous uh, uh, peak right now. We have great champions like Katie Taylor, uh, you know, two-time Olympic uh, uh, gold medalist and world champion Clarissa Shields. So many uh, <coughs> female boxing champions out there. Heather, Heather Hardy was just uh, on HBO um, a short while ago. So uh, when you can be the best out of that whole group and the pound <coughs> and you 
to have all these titles that no other uh, female uh, boxing champion has come close to, it's a, it's a huge statement. So with that, it's my uh, pleasure and honor to introduce Cecilia Brekus. Well, it's, uh, it's great to be back in LA. I, this starts to feel like my second home now. And uh, you know, in Norway right now, it's, it's pretty cold. It's, uh, it's snow and it's dark. So the sun and the warmth here is really doing me good. And I'm getting so well received. All the people are so nice and great to me and my team. And especially thank you, of course, to Tom and to 360 Promotion for everything they are doing for my, me and my team settling down here and our training camp. So, <laughs> new fight coming up um, on HBO. Of course, I would like to say thank you for putting me on the show again. And I promise to deliver another big fight, another thriller. My last fight was, uh, was um, it was a good one. It was a tough fight. and. And the next one will be nothing less. Um, I don't do I don't do boring fights, so I'm ex I'm very excited to uh, to be back. Um, well, uh, <laughs> this is my belt. So I'm I'm defending all of them. It has taken a lifetime to to get all those belts together. They mean a lot to me. They represent uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And uh, we are working very hard uh, every day in the gym. So um, hopefully I can retire under, undefeated also. That is my dream, that is my goal. Uh, well, I am hoping for all of your support and uh, I hope of course to all the Norwegians that are watching this, uh, that they will come over and, and support me too. And I'm really looking forward to um, to my next fight, I have to get back in the ring again. And like I say, um, I will promise you it will be a great fight. Thank you so much. Before we wrap up, I, I want to thank uh, you know our uh, title sponsor Takate. Without uh, their support, these type of events wouldn't be possible. Kati has been so instrumental in uh, putting on some of the biggest, uh, uh, being involved in some of the biggest uh, events in the sport of boxing, also MGM Resorts. Um, and uh, again, the, the ticket prices are $25, starting at $25, they go on pre-sale on Saturday. Uh, we will take, uh, uh, Bernie, uh, we'll, we'll take some uh, question and answers from the, from the media and then we'll have Ramon and uh, Cecilia posing for photos uh, after after we're all done. So we're happy that uh, again we're happy everyone uh, uh, came out. Bernie, if you want to. What's your plan for Ramon after this fight, heading to next year with uh, all the super fight guys that you work with? You know, it's really a step by step process. Um, Carlos and Mr. Honda they make the decisions uh, for his career. Uh, once they decide on uh, when they want to fight, who they want to fight. You know, I, I try to put the best uh, show together for Ramon and, and uh, the platform over here, especially in, in the United States. So we'll see how everything goes with uh, Pedro Guevara. Nobody's uh, underestimating uh, Guevara. You know, if he has another spectacular performance uh, against Guevara like he did with uh, Moises Fuentes, then I think the sky's the limit. Uh, there's so many champions out there now that uh, even uh, Roman not having a title currently, he still has by far the biggest name out of anyone in those divisions, flyweight, super flyweight. So uh, he brings the most spotlight, the most attention uh, to that division and uh, really the door is wide open. Whatever he wants to do next year, um, if everything goes the right way with uh, Guevara, then really the door is open for, for Chuck Latito to do whatever he wants next year. David, do you have a question? Uh, here's a question for Cecilia. Um, what way would you prefer to fight this, this fight? Uh, super welterweight or welterweight? Well, right now I have a, um, what you call in English, a, a luxury problem, is that the right thing to say? 
because I have three weight divisions now with great female fighters and champions. So, and all of that, all of them are interested in fighting for my belts. So I have an opportunity to go up and to go down or to stay where I am right now. So we have um, used quite a lot of time to, to, to um, uh, go through the, the amazing female fighters that are out there right now. And um, like I said, we will um, uh, we'll inform you about who is the next opponent very, very, very quickly. But for me personally, I don't care. I can go down one division, I can get up, go up, I can stay. There are female champions in all these weight divisions who are very interesting, interesting for me. We have um, Serrano and Katie Taylor going down. We have uh, champions like Hannah Gabriel and Shields going up. Uh, we have uh, McCarter and Rice in my weight division and this is just some of them. So there are so many great female fighters out there now to um, to make some great fights with. David, just to follow up on that, this this fight will be at 147 pounds to to defend all of our titles. Uh, we were uh, negotiating with uh, somebody at a higher weight, but that didn't uh, come to fruition. But uh, as Cecilia mentioned. Uh, you know, if someone moves up from 140 and moves down from 154, and Kelly Reese moved down from 160. So, again, just like uh, Roman is the biggest name uh, in in those divisions, flyweight, super flyweight, Cecilia is the biggest name for women's boxing. And you know, I would be remiss. Uh, Cecilia reminded me the uh, the uh, Serrano sisters uh, are making uh, tremendous uh, uh, waves, uh, publicity uh, for female boxing as well. So, it's really. Uh, you know, uh, I would say uh, a peak time for, uh, for the sport of female boxing. And can I just say one last thing too? Um, like Tom said, this fight will be in 145, but for next year, if everything goes as planned and I will keep my belts, for next year I would hope to see a little bit more of what's, what's around there um, in, in weight divisions. Uh, either go up one weight division or go down. For me, um, it's... Um, I can do either. What, what's your walking around? What? What do you walk around? Oh, well, that's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that. It's funny. That, uh, female boxing is almost the only time you can ask <laughs> you know, what their weight is. <laughs> so we're going to wrap up pretty soon. We're just going to take one more question for either Roman or uh, Cecilia, and then uh, we, we can break off into one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, uh, as well. Uh -huh. Roman, Pedro Guevara tiene tres derrotas, pero todas han sido por o majority decision o split decision. Nunca las noquearon y además viene de dos victorias con chiqueo o stoppage. ¿Cómo te preparas para, para tener un oponente tan fuerte? Bueno, eh, Pedro Guevara es un muchacho que se mueve muy bien, eh, él es muy bueno, todos los mexicanos son buenos, lo respeto mucho, he peleado con mucho y pues eh, la condición que eh, voy a tener para la pelea es lo que me va a sacar a flote el día de la pelea y pues, eh, pues tirar golpes, combinar mi mano y, y trabajar con mucha viveza el día de la pelea. She asked, um, Pedro Guevara has never been knocked out and Roman is saying that he's fought great champions, that he's ready for this fight. He respects Pedro Guevara, he knows he's a hard opponent, but um, after after last fight and, and the, the, the goals that we have, Roman knows that he just has to keep on escalating one fighter at a time, but he's, he's really happy and with the um, uh, physical condition and the boxing that he'll bring to that fight, then that will probably be the difference. So we'll wrap it up now. We'll take some photos uh, with uh, these two great champions uh, standing next to each other, and uh, then we'll, we'll do some one-on-one -on -one interviews for anyone that uh, needs to follow up. Okay, right here, uh, Marco, and come in closer. Make a simple peek and fight. Okay. Right here. Right here, one, two, and three. Don't move. Okay, over here, please. Right side. And then we're over here to the left, please. <laughs> 
Can I get you right here one more time, please, guys? One, two, and.